Welcome to another playoff edition of Williams Hometown High Q. I'm Ray Petlin, and we have a great matchup for you today featuring some of the winners of the regular season who have moved on to the playoffs. That includes the Ellis School, Fraser High School, and Beaver High School, all competing today to see who moves on and who moves one step closer to being this year's champion of Williams Hometown High Q. We're gonna start everyone off in the database round. In this round, each team gets 20 points for a correct answer, no deductions for incorrect answers. And I wanna remind everyone that any student can answer, but if we get multiple answers at once, we will default to the team captain to break that tie. Now, each team will start off the day with 100 points already on the board, but all the rest of the points, those will have to be earned. And we're going to start things off with the Ellis School. But before we get to the questions, let's meet the team. Hello, my name is Viola Haggerty. I'm a junior at the Ellis School, and I'm involved in lighting design for my school's tech crew. Hi, my name is Grace. I'm a junior at the Ellis School, and I am um, the student council secretary and a member of my school's Asian Student Union. Hi, I'm Sophia. I'm a junior at Ellis School, and I play piano. All right, Ellis School, it is great to have you back on the show. And here we go with your first database round question. We concur that you will receive 20 points if you find here the name of what element named to honor two scientists, a husband and wife? Curium. Curium is it. Rearrange the letters in this phrase and you'll name what type of powerful storm called a typhoon in some parts of the world. Hurricane. That's it. To complete this statement made in 1903 by Sir John Fisher, fill in the blank with what branch of the armed forces where Lord Nelson served? Navy. The Navy, or we would have also accepted the Royal Navy. Very nicely done. If a rock group decides to name itself for a mythical character doomed to forever roll a rock up a hill, it would choose which of these names? Uh, Sisyphus. Sisyphus is correctifus. And spelling in contrary to nature. This was the opinion of Davy Crockett, a legendary frontiersman who died in a fierce battle at what San Antonio mission in 1836? The Texas Revolt? It was actually the Alamo. With that, you got 180 points on the day so far to start things off. Very nicely done. Ellis School. Next up, we have our team from Fraser High School. The scoring will work the same, but before we get to the questions, let's meet the team. Hello, my name is Delaney Day. I'm a two-time regional champion for FBLA and a senior here at Fraser High School. Hello, my name is Caleb Higby. I play basketball and uh, I run track. <laughs> and I'm a senior here at Fraser High School. Hi, my name is Katie Power. I'm president of the Interact Club and a member of the mock trial team, and I'm a senior here at Fraser High School. Fraser High School, it is great to have you back on the show. Now let's put you to the test in the database round, and here's your first question. Look at this phrase carefully, and you'll find the name of what element whose symbol is B? Moron. Moron, Moron is correct claimed you'll claim 20 points if you rearrange the letters in this word to name what kind of mathematical point used in fractional notation we'll need an answer decimal was what we were looking for there the courage and competitiveness of blank affect me to this day Complete this remark from basketball legend Kareem Abdul-Jabbar by adding the name of what baseball player, the first African-American in the modern major leagues? Uh, Ruth. Uh, Ruth, uh, Jackie Robinson was the correct answer for that one. If you wanted to sail from Lake Huron to Lake Michigan, which one of these waterways would you use? Straits of Mackinac. That is right. There are no bad regiments, only bad colonels. Many soldiers would agree with this statement made by what French general who crowned himself Emperor of France in 1804? 
Napoleon. Napoleon is right. And with that, you finish the database round with 160 points, keeping things very, very close, Fraser High School. Next up, we have our team from Beaver High School. But before we get to their database round questions, let's meet the team. Hi, my name is Madison Flaw. I'm a senior at Beaver High School. I'm a member of the Beaver varsity hockey team. I'm the secretary of NHS, president of TLC, a member of academic games and many other clubs. Hi, I'm Ryan Kenny. I'm the captain of the hockey team. I uh, soy presidente del club de español and um, I participate in a lot of what other clubs as well. Hi, I'm Chris Hortel, the Washington University <laughs> in St. Louis, Africa. Beaver High School, it's great to have you back on the show. And here's your first database round question. Well, we prefer to find here the hidden name of what Italian born physicist whose atomic energy experiments led to the first self-sustaining chain reaction. Ermine? Good guess. Fermi though was the correct answer, Fermi. Enrico Fermi was the correct answer. The plane, you can rearrange the letters in this phrase to name what type of animal that Hannibal brought with him when he crossed the Alps to fight ancient Rome. Elephant. That's it. The two most common elements in the universe are blank and stupidity. To complete this observation from one <laughs> author, add what gaseous element that is number one in the periodic table. Hydrogen. Hydrogen is correct. And that is a great, great quote by Harlan Ellison. At which of these places would you most appropriately expect to see an aardvark? Zoo. That's right. We will walk every mile with you. President Bill Clinton said this when welcoming the first black president of South Africa, whose autobiography was titled Long Walk to Freedom. Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela is correct. And with that, you are also up to 180 points to start the day off, keeping things very, very close right out of the gate. So this should be a good one. And more points are up for grabs next in the Pix File round. Don't go away. 